Hey, hey, what's up? Uh, it's just me. Uh, listen, I wanted to share a bit of wisdom that I've just kind of stumbled across here, okay? So what it is, it's probably best to start at the beginning, huh? You always start a story at the beginning, you don't go to the end unless you're that bloke, what's his name? Quentin Tarantino or something like that, I don't know. So I used to live in South Africa, uh, Johannesburg, um, on Bloatvoet Street, which is really famous in Joburg. Now, Bloatvoet Street was like party central, you know, and it's basically, we didn't have apartheid there. It was apartheid, you know, it's brilliant. Party all the time, bro. Now, let me tell you this. It was a truly liberating street to grow up. We'd have kaffirs, coons, chinkies, gooks, peckies, Indians, whites, browns, blacks, whatever. And it was great to grow up as a small boy, you know, because uh, there was no prejudice there. It was just people being people for Christ's sake. But to be honest, you know, I mean, all that partying, it really got to me, you know, as fun as it was. I decided it was time to knuckle down, you know, and pull my socks up. So uh, I retrained. And I could have been loads of things. I mean, I had caught Blanche on the whole affair, right? I could have been a balder. I could have been an accountant. But to be honest, I'm not great at math anyway. I could have been a bloody journalist for the Joburg Gazette. I could have tried my hand at sport, you know, because I was always quite good at cricket. I could have even maybe gone into, like, private security, you know. But I thought, wouldn't it be great if you could do something that gives something back to people? And I thought to myself, hey, why not throw caution to the wind, put another burvest on the braai? I'm going to retrain to be a physiotherapist. So I had to retrain to become a physiotherapist. And it was hard, bro, let me tell you. Three and a half years of hard graft, bro. I mean, we're talking like biology, physiology, science, sports science, the skeletal system. But I'll tell you this, what cushions that blow when you're studying super hard to become a physiotherapist is the plethora of females on the course with you as well, bro. It's 80% chick. 20% dick. And that is a ratio that I like, bro. Now, for the benefit of those that are slightly retarded, let me lay this out for you, okay? There's a room, okay? And it's got 10 people in it. Of that 10 people, 8 of them are female. And only 2 people of that 10 are blokes. That's four chicks to one bloke, bro. Four chicks to one bloke! That's four chicks to one bloke, bro. Four chicks to one bloke! So now you can imagine the enormity of the situation that I found myself in. I was like a rabid Rhodesian Ridgeback for three and a half years, bro. <laughs> and I'll tell you this. Between my group, we got more clap than Mandela got when he was released, bro. Although I think I've gone off the beaten track here, I forgot what my wisdom was. Today's main meal is... It's thick, it's long, and it's classic. Also known as the Ron Jeremy. It's a Turkish flip-flop, and inside, there's strips of dead cow. Fried dead chicken baby. Edible fungus and green shite. With mayonnaise and ketchup. And some ring sting. Ooh, I say. Don't I know you, lassie? Oh, aye. I most certainly do. You dirty bitch.